we, we've just had a, we had a question in early in the program from uh, an operator in Scandinavia about what's holding the industry back. So these answers to the, the roadblocks has uh, nicely answered that and, and a couple of other questions. Um, in fact, we've just had a question in about TCO, which actually we're going to come to right now because we are going to take a look at the total cost of ownership question now. For our final presentation today, we are going to hear from Ravi Kalyanakoti, who is Principal Telco Solutions Architect, Telecom Systems Business at Dell Technologies. Ravi, how does Dell Telecom Infrastructure Blocks for Wind River help operators maximize TCO for open RAN and VRAN deployments? Thanks for that question. Um, as customers, Telco operators are going through transformation from a vertically integrated RAN solution to a virtual RAN, open RAN deployment. There are a couple of challenges that they have. The first challenge is an integration challenge. With an open disaggregated RAN network, there are multiple pieces that needs to be integrated, starting from hardware, cloud platform, RAN, CU, DU components, OSS, BSS, and management layer on top of that. This needs to be integrated. What was previously done by a vertical um, solution vendor now needs to be done either by the customer themselves or a system integrator. The second challenge that Open RAN brings in is you have tens of thousands of edge, no, edge nodes where the, the DUs need to be deployed across the geography spread in a distributed fashion. This cannot be managed uh, simply without having a very strong automated zero touch provisioning. To address these challenges, we work with our partners, Windriver and Intel together, and then built a solution called Dell Telecom Infrastructure Blocks for Windriver, which is optimized for a virtual RAN, uh, open RAN um, deployment, and it is pre integrated and pre engineered by Dell. The way it addresses the TCO challenges and then maximizes customers' TCO are one, it includes uh, Intel's latest fourth generation Xeon scalable processors, which is significantly performance improved as compared to the third generation processor. Second, it includes Windriver Cloud Platform, which is built for, uh, built and optimized for an open RAN, virtual RAN, distributed, low latency type of requirements. Third, we bring in a pre-integrated engineered solution, which alleviates the integration challenge and reduces operational costs that the customer needs to spend. Fourth, we bring in automation, which enables the customer to deploy uh, the network with zero touch provisioning and also manage the network in the day to uh, operations in a very automated uh, process. Well, these are the values, these are the technology um, advantages. In order to show this in a quantified manner, Dell has built a TCO analysis tool working with an analyst firm called ACG Research. We have, in fact, published white papers with our analysis comparing scenarios for network deployment with infra infrastructure block and without infrastructure block. The white papers are available are on the website, download, and there's also a QR code using which you can download that. In addition, what we're doing is we're working with um, telco operators and modeling their specific network architectures in the TCO analysis tool and then doing scenario analysis specific for them, um, which will make, make it available for them, which will be, uh, we, we believe will help them uh, include in their overall TCO and then make a decision towards you know, open RAN VRAN deployment. With the solution, infrastructure block with Windriver and the TCO tool that we've developed, we believe this is going to help uh, our telco operators maximize the TCO, but also this is going to accelerate adoption of virtual RAM and open RAM networks uh, for all the telcos. Thank you. Thanks very much, Ravi. Well, now that we've watched all our presentations, it's time to have a brief chat with our guests, and then we'll take a look at some of the questions we haven't covered so far in our discussion. Now, we, we talked a lot about the upfront challenges, so let's now come back to 
the benefits. And, and Christina, let me start with you. What do you believe are the key drivers behind the industry transformation and, and, and what are the greatest benefits? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go back to the realization that we have to have a modern network that can be ready for today use cases and today requirements, but also ready for the future that will enable progress and uh, and you know and, and, and evolution and progress of the of the network. So having that software defined network, we need we need that the 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 levels of automation, the levels of innovation that we will be able to bring, the level of total cost of ownership, that that undeniable will be superior in this type of uh, network architecture. Thank you, Christina. Manish, Ravi mentioned some significant TCO savings and you know the whole topic of TCO has proven very popular with our, our viewers. Are there any additional details you can provide on the importance and impact of these savings? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the impact, first of all, is pretty significant in terms of the TCO saving itself across the entire life cycle, right from day zero, all that integration work being done to day, day one in terms of introducing this and de deploying the solution, but then doing that in a very automated way from a life cycle management perspective. And this all starts to deliver significant OPEX and CAPEX gains as well. And and, and there is, as uh, Ravi touched on, there's a, there's a research paper from ACG Research that's available. It's in the public domain. I would encourage uh, the viewers to go download it. And we can actually, we're working with some of the service providers to then take a look at their traffic models and further fine tuning it in terms of what the TCO gains are to be had with infrastructure block. But I'll say this, to me, that TCO gains are the starting point. This transformation of building cloud native infrastructure is actually putting the basic layers in place and the plumbing in place that, as Christina said, is going to drive more automation and more innovation. And with AI machine learning coming in, collecting the right kinds of telemetry data at the infrastructure layer, at the network layer, and then applying AI machine learning to optimize the networks, to improve energy efficiency of the networks, to improve planning, forecasting, it's going to touch all aspects and deliver even further benefits from a TCO perspective. And that's why this transformation of the radio access network with open RAN is essential. Most of the service providers have started, and I know others are also planning to get in the, get initiated on this. Indeed, thanks very much, Manish. And Paul, Ravi talked there about streamlining infrastructure design, delivery, and maintenance. From your perspective at Wind River, what does that really mean? Well, I think we start by really listening to our customers. You know, famously over a year ago, at Vodafone, Yago Tenorio and his team released a white paper to the industry, basically saying, look, we love this technology, we want it, we believe it's the future of network design, but it's too costly to integrate, it's too complex to deal with the multi-vendor environment. The industry has to solve that problem, right? And that was a challenge given to the industry over a year ago. I view the Dell Telecom infrastructure blocks and the partnership that we've created here with the fully integrated solution that's continuously integrated and has deployment history now in OpenRAN as the exact solution to that challenge from our customer. Um, we've also seen customers that have directly challenged us, look, you've got to get this solution to be superior than traditional RAN. If we look at the traditional appliance-based RANs, they have the, the, the benefit of many, many years of deployment and stability work. We're now at that same place with Open RAN and Virtual RAN, where we have a fully integrated solution that we've proven in live deployment can be upgraded and maintained faster than traditional RAN equipment. Um, so I think these things are really important to, to remove some of the obstacles that you're talking about.